Through our journey and our experience, we've become more optimistic. Our age, we're not invisible. We made history together. Welcome again back to my channel. We're going to talk about the Golden Bachelor episode 7, the Human Death. And also we will talk about the conclusion of the whole ceremony that we have the last time with the three ladies. We know that let's see got the first host. I want to follow just like they follow during the show. By the time you're watching this work, I assume you already know who got the second host. You will be, it will be like finite too. You already know. Guys still at the whole ceremony. This is how you know they usually show the little trailer and at the beginning they show the trailer say I know what I have to do. I just don't want to do it. I know what I want to do. I just don't want to do it. And they go back. We are like, I don't know, maybe. So the woman terror, maybe they will call the woman terror like a few weeks ago. I already don't know. They make sure to show us that Sam is here and she's sitting next to her and B. So Sam is okay. We just learned from VIP that Sam has finally pooped. So she's okay. She's very good. She's in the audience. Now it's time to introduce the lady. We have Patty, Matt James Moore, we have Pamela, we have Marina is here, Christina is here, Natasha is here, and guess what? She's wearing the cheer every ceremony chair. John is here, Nancy is here, April is here, and Kat is here. Should I do the zip it? Sandra is here. She do the thing. And Susan is here, and Ellen is here. Those are the ladies that are here. This is start. He talked to Sandra first. Let's, he said, he said, Miss Sandra, let's all take a deep breath. Oh, it works every time. Oh, I should take a deep breath with them. I, and I was just focused on taking my note. Everybody in the audience, so. Uh, I don't know what they say, but the blip is again. Everybody in the audience, take a big breath. They can roll us now. We can finally be at the human tail. They asked a question to Susie about the six inch. She said, Had I known my son was going to be so upset with me, I probably would have said eight inches instead of six. <laughs> Just right. Um, they recap the season like they usually do. They recap the whole season, like the highlight of the season. Susan with the six inches, the bomb bed, like the pickleball, April reaction, <laughs> like when she said, I'm totally fine. <laughs> that was so funny. The zippy, Eddie reaction to the tension, like, it's the tension. No, Katya and Teresa fighting like right after the sunset. You know, it's the tension. Oh, oh, they did the same it. <laughs> she was just laughing at herself. We are getting a little bit jealous. It's the tension that we're dating just one man. They didn't focus only on the drama, they also show like the one moment that happened during the season. So it wasn't just full of drama, it was also full of great things. And they show how season tell us we deserve love. Even in our age, don't give up when it comes to love. For the people out there my age, don't give up. We all have hearts, we all want to love, and you're worth loving. Thanks to those ladies, I'm looking forward to my 60s. Seriously, every time I think about 40, I say, oh my God, my life is going to be over and stuff like that. After watching The Golden Bachelor, I don't think that way anymore. I feel like, oh, I'm going to live my life to the fullest, whether I'm 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Thanks to them, you learn about life. You learn about everybody deserves love. It's not just when you're young. It was just a good show. Like, it won my heart. Like, I love watching this show all season. It was just so amazing. And I'm so sad it's coming to the end. So, Jesse talked to Susan first. She said something about her <laughs> children didn't like her saying that. Had I known my son was going to be so upset with me, <laughs> then I probably would have said eight inches instead of six. <laughs> Jesse had a question to April about. How did your children feel about kissing Gary when they are watching? And April says something about we all need love. Love doesn't have any age. You can love even when you're older. We all need love and we all need hugs and we all need kisses. I see, see now her, her children doesn't see her just like a mom, but they see her as a single lady who deserves. Now they've seen me as a single woman. 
someone who's ready for love. I'm a single lady. I'm a single lady. So she also deserves love. They all have like, oh, hope that I can find someone. Sandra is very competitive. I am so competitive. I just knew that I could reach that ball and went for it. It was something about depression time, got desperate time, got desperate uh, moment. So what she's talking about, I'm totally fine. Kathy and Teresa drama. Teresa is not here to answer for the drama yet. So is she gonna be here? We don't know. Teresa is not here. Kathy said that she could have go about it a better she way. Hope like her and Teresa both of them can zip it. Um, maybe we both should have zipped it. People who know her, she's a very like she's not a bad person. Most of the ladies, they are they are all great people. So now they're talking about the cooking. Susan, her, she has an upset stomach. She didn't know what was going she on. She ate the food that AJ made. Like AJ made the guacamole two nights ago. She, instead of eating it early, she's not eating later. So it kind of upset her stomach. And they said, baby, with you. Like, is it the guacamole who's responsible for that? Or is it the meatball? Because she's made the meatball. She's said, I've been making meatball for how many years? No, I never have an upset stomach. 56 years I've been eating meatballs. <laughs> it don't bother me. <laughs> Fresh garlic is in the meatballs. It wasn't my guacamole. It was a guacamole. No, it was a meatball. My guacamole is I've delicious. I've been making it for years and never gave me gas. Never! <laughs> Now she says it's definitely the meatballs. It was the meatballs. <laughs> I said, no, it's a guacamole. Maybe we never found out what it was. In. <laughs> was it a guacamole? Was it a mingo? Or was it a mix of both of them? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> it's just a funny conversation. I couldn't have a date tonight. I would have to cancel. <laughs> so Susan is talking about how the show has been so great. That she got to reach so many people watching the show. It was a good show who insists so many conversation chris jenner sent a message to susan she said she's been watching the bachelor her family are watching the show has been so good susan you are amazing and love you your style love the hair and you nailed it i was so happy for susan because Susan looks so much like Chris Jenner and Chris Jenner sent her that message. It was so happy. That was so cool that they'll be watching the Golden Bachelor. That was amazing. So John is at the hot seat, so this is not time for hot seat. Yeah. Capri journey on the Golden Bachelor, her entrance, the talent show, her one-on-one -on -one with Gary. They talk that they have in the home. Uh, and they thought that she was on the phone like, with her daughter and she decided to go after her wonderful date with Gary. We really thought that John was going to make it so far. But her journey was cut short and we have no one to blame. So at the time when I was watching the show, I just thought that, oh, her, her daughter just gave birth. She just needed her mom to her birth, like at home with the baby But John tells us that her, mom, her daughter was um suffer for like some kind of depression my daughter had a really serious case of postpartum depression and you know she needed me she needed her mom and i didn't think twice i heard that when women when they gave birth there's like some depression like that's what they they ha you have family member to spot you like you suffer from some kind of depression i don't know if it's the hormone of the body something missing or the fact that you were pregnant and that you feel the emptiness it must has been something Going on with your body also affects your brain. So her daughter was suffering from depression. She needed her mom, so she have to go. So I understand, really I understand. And now she tells that, that her daughter is feeling much better. I'm happy about that. She said something about, oh, she didn't see Gary cry when she left. Like, I didn't see all that, you know, about Gary at the end there and him crying like that. And I feel really bad I feel like that I did that to him. That's sad. That connection. The time mean the second half of her life wasn't the best. I'm sad. I'm still sad that she left. And John said that the thing that was very important, you remember during John Nemo exit, she said something about at this age, when you're older, you become very invisible. People don't see you as somebody who can feel, you can love, so people just don't see you anymore. They just see you to support the next generation and kind of take a back seat. And I even saw some young people, they talk about old people like they're people who are about to just die. And it's so, it's so bad to see life like See, after being on the Golden Bachelor, so you learn that 
oh even though you're old you can still do stuff still have life you still have a reason to live all those things so now ellen have the hot seat also the summarize ellen journey meeting gary the photo shoot the pickleball she's a pickleball co-captain co we know that um, we have the amusement park uh, the beautiful day with gary the one one we got oh, ellen have so much so many moments with gary yeah she was like top four if the golden bachelor that like, was like regular bachelor she even would have been a home, uh, hometown you know who knows she could have made it if to top three <sighs> i'm just sad that it went home i already said that the last time somebody told me this it was 40 43 years ago, you know, when Ellen told Gary in the house, I'm falling in love with you. And then they show Ellen see at the amusement park, I'm falling in love with you. I just wish that he loved, he feel the same way. I was sad. Uh, I was sad. I was sad. Ellen's journey was like, it was tough. It was tough to watch. Ellen said it was very really a difficult goodbye because she saw like, uh, she saw an amazing man. She saw how amazing the love that she had for Gary. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. Ellen said that she had gratitude for Gary. She can enjoy her life now. She said that, oh, things didn't happen like that, but now I can like, put myself up there. You know? I can enjoy my life and live it to the utmost and find happiness. And I'll tell you the truth, I can't wait to get started. You know, decide to date. They talk about Rebecca. Roberta, like her, Ellen told her the story that oh she didn't want to apply. Her friend Rebecca told her like go and apply. We're gonna watch it together. But unfortunately, her friend had journals with stage four cancer, and when they were filming the Bachelor, I think she passed away. By the time, no no, she didn't pass away when they were filming the Bachelor. When Ellen went home. Uh, she saw her friend was already in the coma and stuff like that. She was barely holding it. And then say, oh, it's okay. It's okay, Roberta. That was sad when she was telling the story. They were supposed to watch the Golden Bachelor together. And then say something, oh, it's okay. Hi, but Roberta, we watched the Bachelor. She just gonna watch it for you. Roberta, we watch it for up there. It's okay. We're gonna watch the show just from different places. I feel so sad. I'm sad. I'm really sad. I really wanted a hometown. I really wanted to meet Roberta. Roberta's daughter is here. She turned in and you say, Thank you for showing us such a true friendship. Thank you for what you've done for my mom. And I'm like, Oh God, these people are breaking my heart. I feel like it's tough watching this show. I was at work. I can cry. If I cry, I mess up my makeup and I have to go to the restroom and put some makeup again. Yeah, it was tough to see that. Uh, Roberta's daughter is God's name. She's just saying, Ellen, you deserve to find love. I'm just, oh. And they say at the end, Roberta, we made it. <laughs> it doesn't have the same meaning like it was before. And that's what makes me the most sad about it. Okay, so time for Gary to come. It's finally Gary to okay. the lady. I miss you all. You say, I love all of you. Every day, I'll have a flashback of something that happened with any one of you. And it was so great. God, I love them all. Jesse asked, how, how does it feel like kissing all those ladies? Gary said, I was having, <laughs> I was having the best time of my life. Gary, is there any man like you in Indiana? <laughs> Gary said, every man like me, yeah, every man in Indiana like me. Are there any more men in Indiana like yourself? <laughs> We're all like this in Indiana. <laughs> After meeting Gary, so they all see the possibility of meeting someone, so it's not too late to find love. John said that her journey ended very uh, quickly. I feel like our journey ended really abruptly. I think it'll always play in my mind what would have happened. She's working hard to find her person also. I'm like, Gary, if it didn't work with those two ladies, give John a call. She's still single. She's still single. She just saw you. <laughs> She's still looking to find a person if she's not the next bachelorette. But I'm about to say maybe the person that's gonna be eliminated that we talk about in a little bit going to be the bachelorette. I just can't feel it the way the emotion in the room. Unless 
if it didn't work out the two lady, I don't I'm not sure guy. We're gonna talk about it. I don't know. I'm not sure about your talk to. I really not sure about your talk to. So and I see that she wanna thank Gary. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for giving me the ability, the confidence to move on to find love. Now she's motivated to find love for herself. But in our age we all made history. You know, we made history together. We made history together. We have so much to be proud of. I'm so proud of every single one of you. Yeah, let's go back to the whole ceremony. Oh my God. It was right. We have the whole ceremony. Remember the last time, let's see, got the first host. That means now it's between Teresa and Faye. Who's going to get the second host to go to the final two? Teresa got the host. Oh my god, the audience was shocked. Teresa. The audience was shocked. For some reason, I kind of knew that Teresa was going to get the second. Not that I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm shocked that everyone is. I was I knew that she was gonna get it, but I really wanted to see if she's gonna get it because when I showed when they showed the big trailer right, of the Golden Bachelor, they show less than a Teresa to a tropical area, and the best on the bag was Teresa. And when they showed the big trailer, we don't show Faye on that big trailer. And, and I think I watched Bachelor Fan Thing. That's how I found out. I'm like, in my mind, because Teresa is so tiny on that picture in the background. She's not tiny. But the picture was taken for so far. I'm like, I was still hoping that this is not true. I was still hoping that Gary chose Faye. Gary, what are you doing? Teresa and Leslie, as you find out too. Oh my god, my god, I don't know. <laughs> the audience was shocked. Even JC was shocked that Faith didn't marry to the final two. You know, I speak on behalf of everybody. <laughs> Faith, I'm shocked <laughs> that you went you. home. I mean that though. I mean yeah. that. You had to be blindsided in that moment. Most people, when I was listening to two people who up last week, they say, oh, the final two is Leslie and Faith. Faith, take this. Faith's gonna win. Everybody's saying Faith. Oh gosh, it's gonna be so disappointed for all of them. I am disappointed, but I kind of, I kind of feel like Teresa was gonna get that was Oh no. I didn't want to believe what I saw in that video. I just wanted something to change. I just want a guy, you can't send Faith home. You can't. And it did. Even before Gary chose Faith, this is how they spoil the show for us. They only show Faith talking. You know, before the host, they couldn't show Faith talking and show Teresa talking. No, they didn't even try. They just say Faith talking like in a, in a confession. Gary told me that when Gary told me that he loved me, I was on the top of the wall. I don't want to step down. So, you know, she have for her speech and stuff like that. I'm like, what about Teresa? Why don't you show us Teresa talking? Nope. They jumped already to the whole ceremony. They told Gary Hope the was. I said, oh my God, it's over for Faith. I already knew that. Like, and then he said, Teresa, they showed the audience in the little TV. They were shocked. Ah, I was sad. Another show, Gary broke up with Faith. Also, on the breakup bench. Oh God. This, this was hard for me. This was tough. Gary said, It's been a joy. Getting to know you. She pictured like the pieces from her, of her with Gary. I pictured it. Some little piece of me thought, hey, it really could work out. Face is something about, oh, I was ready to come into this person. I was ready to come into you. I was ready to marry you. I thought you were the one. She said, maybe it's not in the card for me. And the lady said, no, we love you, Faith. Maybe it's just not in the cards for me. You. We love you. Love you. Yeah. Girl. Uh, that was so cute. Like, see, uh, it was so nice to see the other ladies sporting fair. It was heartbroken. Just wake up. It was sad. But you see those moments on TV that it was tough. So, feel like it is her washing it back. She was crying. Even when she was washing that, she was crying. Because it's been something like 20 years. She's not somebody who opened the wall easily. But she, guy was open. Help her to break down wall like she like oh I can actually feel the connection with this person you know 
even Jessie was shocked like I said face said that her family is she doesn't want her family to be sad the thing that was going through my mind is oh my god my poor family now they're gonna be so sad for me I cannot let them be heartbroken because you know we remember for a long time like when the sisters oh you, you have to go to another hometown oh this is okay just stay here so the family were going the family really tough fear was guy person a guy even told her sister take care of her each year come back oh my god this is too much and now they show fair conversation with guy no before when guy came so fear and guy was talking the hug even the hug was emotional i'm like guy i don't know about Teresa. <laughs> I don't know about Leslie Teresa. This is the one. Face the one. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. For I fit and Gary fit so perfectly. When Gary keep talking about his wife and stuff like that, all I can see similar type of personality, similar type of person, similar warmness. I don't know Gary wife, but I just feel like fit would be such a perfect match for Gary. I don't know. I love Teresa, you know. I love Leslie also, but I just feel like this was fake. Kagi, what are you doing? I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. Faye has to be the next bachelor and she will be. Maybe Ellen, but Faye, her story was too much. She really loved Gary. She really did. She said, oh, it's hard not to touch you. It's hard not to touch you. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is too much. I can't take it. I can't my poor heart. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> so they talk about the moment together. My face uh, is talking here yeah, like uh, we have that great connection at the beginning. You remember how the moment on the motorcycle and everything. You see that initial attraction. You see that great connection. You see how he gave her the road. She said I felt that strong connection. When you walk me out to the exit, I felt like you were like a complete stranger. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. How did you wait for home time where you told me you love me to this? How did it go? I feel like everything just disappeared. From hometown, it was so great. And then to just have it be nothing. Like nothing ever happened. I that day when you, you know, walked me out, it was like I was looking at a stranger. So I, I felt like that complete disconnect. I don't understand. So this is why Faith talking about the war. I didn't know someone could have break down those war for me. But you did this for me. She said, what is this about Gary that's different for every other man? She said, this was the first time that I felt safe. She said, if you take me, I love this part. She said, if you, if you take me, if you choose me, I could have been yours forever. You could have walked off with me right then. I'd have been yours for the rest of your life. You know, I just, I felt that safe and I've never felt that way. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. I can't do this. Gary, what did you do? Faye was the one. Oh my God, it's going to be hard to watch the rest of the season with the two of the lady after watching this woman tell. At the first of her life, she felt safe. She told Gary he was the one. Gary said he had three wonderful ladies. So she was asking like, what? I don't know if you're asking how Gary decided to make that decision. Gary said, I have three wonderful women. It's not because I didn't choose you that you were less wonderful than the other ladies. So I just have three wonderful ladies. My love for you was genuine in those moments. When I had three women that were wonderful, I had to figure out which was the right one. Gary said he hate the most because he promised their family that he will not break her heart. He broke that promise. I promised your family something. I know. And I broke that promise. It's okay. <laughs> That's so awful. Say, no, it's okay. My family do it doesn't hurt you. You didn't deceive me. You're a great man. You have a beautiful soul. I'm still sad to watch the overall conversation, the breakup. It's like they were broken up again. I'm like, oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I love it for you. I don't know. Okay, after the conversation with you, they, they all wish each other good luck. She said, you didn't deceive me, you didn't deceive my family. They, they will not say anything against you, you know. They just didn't want her children to be sad, you know. She really said, oh, I don't want my children to be sad because I didn't find love. She even said that when she was getting sent home, 
now is the moment for the bluebird like what's going on during the bluebird they show sandra mm, the stomach is sandra with the gas <laughs> she do a hsa hold on for a second <laughs> the gas and whatever and now see she was preparing for her talent show she was just using the thing you say i don't know about this and during the talent show she actually was able to succeed in the talent show Cathy in the RTM home, she told people, you have to make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, <laughs> then F. <laughs> if you don't make mistakes, F you. I hope I get a rose. Make it happen. And if you can't make it happen, f off. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and we have the designer girl who remember doing Ellen 101, Pretty Woman Dead. They say, oh, Jerry is here. All so, oh, the ladies say, Gabby. It's not Jerry, Gary. This is unbelievable. Jerry called me and told me how. Gary, <laughs> my bad. So, Jerry and Gary has been confused for a lot of people, and they show Jerry say so 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 so. He says so so many times. So what I was gonna say is so 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 so. so, so. Told you so. I do the same. I do. You can you can believe how much I almost saw in my video when I edit. It's too much. I need to stop saying so. It's hard to edit the video when you say so, uh, so, uh, it's, I don't like it. So, see, I did it again. Yeah, the purple was just fun. It was just fun to see the lady having fun. It was just fun. I'm going to miss this season, like I said. And they showed the trailer, the two remaining ladies, pretty much. They date with Gary, the fantasy suite, and then meeting Gary family. So... We will talk about that next week. Thank you so much for watching the Golden Bachelor Women Tellers. I wasn't able to do charity men tellers. I couldn't do this to you guys. I didn't want to skip an episode. I'm very determined to keep recapping and putting you guys great content. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye.